Hey guys, Tarantula Sam here. Welcome to my channel. And for this video, we're gonna build something. Alright guys, so I'm going to attempt to build a superworm farm. I'm getting tired of buying feeders all the time, so I'm going to try breeding superworms. I understand that they are supposed to be relatively easy to breed, and they're probably one of the less intrusive feeders to breed. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to be using the three drawer method, and I would attribute this to somebody, but I've seen a number of people do this, and I'm not sure who came up with it originally, but uh, thank you to whoever you are and uh, I'm gonna be giving it a try. So I brought all this stuff at uh, Harbor Freight, Petco, and Walmart. The uh, Sterilite drawers came from uh, Walmart. The uh, roll of screen there came from Walmart. Got some oats from Walmart. This uh, storage container came from uh, Harbor Freight. And I got the uh, super worms at Petco. And the tools I just have at my house. So these are probably the tools I'm gonna be using. Hot glue gun scissors. A, uh, maybe a razor blade, maybe a Dremel tool, um, so uh, we'll see. So the method I am going to follow is to cut out the bottom of one of the drawers, put in a screen bottom, and uh, then uh, separate out uh, some worms, some of the larger worms, into the storage container to see if I can get them to pupate into adults to uh, add to my farm. Uh, I'm not going to be able to tell you, of course, if this works in this video, but there will be update videos to come. But uh, I'm going to follow my build process here and uh, show you how uh, I'm doing this. Um, so uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start with the storage container because uh, it's probably going to be the easiest part of this project. I bought this at Harbor Freight. It was $3.99. Uh, it supposedly has 24 storage slots on it. And you pretty much just open it up and uh, put in the little dividers. All right, so I got all the dividers in here. There are 24 total, and uh, they're a little bit flimsy, but I think they'll be plenty fine just to keep the, uh, um, the larva separate from each other so uh, they don't get in with each other. I understand they can be a bit cannibalistic. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill probably a little bit of, a few holes in the top of this. And uh, then, uh, this part should be done. Okay, so I got my Dremel all set up here. I've got about uh, a sixteenth of an inch uh, bit in there, and I'm just going to drill a single hole in the center of each of these compartments, and uh, I'll get started. All right, so I just got a simple hole drilled in the top of each of these. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up now and just get the burrs off and uh, then we'll move on. Okay, so I got these holes cleaned up. I just picked the burrs off with my fingers and wiped out the insides and I got them pretty clean. Um, I wasn't super meticulous on the pattern I drilled on these. Um, I just wanted one vent hole above each of the uh, um, compartments. And so that's done. I'm going to set this aside for now. And uh, now I'm going to work on the drawers. So all that I need to do for the drawers, um, and this is a Sterilite 3 stack. Uh, they're like 8.5 by 11 inches. Is I'm going to take out the top drawer. If I can get it out. There we go. And I'm going to cut out the bottom. I haven't decided if I'm going to use a Dremel or a uh, box cutter yet. It's pretty thin. I might be able to use a box cutter, but I might just use the Dremel to be faster. And I am going to use uh, the screen. I bought this roll of screen at Walmart, just kind of where your window maintenance stuff is. And uh, it was about $5, and it's way more screen than I need. So I'll just set this aside and use it for a different project later. But for now, I am going to trace out the pattern I am going to use on the drawer. I'll probably leave a few cross supports um, so the drawer doesn't completely lose its shape. Um, and then I'll uh, glue the um, screen down.
Okay, so what I did, I uh, measured out about half an inch from each side and then I put just two crossbars here that I'm gonna leave intact um, just to add some, to keep some support there. Um, there are these two support pieces of plastic here and there and I am gonna cut, I'm gonna leave this there and I'm gonna cut after those because um, I do want the drawer to still uh, function as a drawer uh, with some integrity. Um, so now I'm gonna use my Dremel to cut out this piece, this piece, and this piece, and uh, then uh, we'll move forward. Okay, so I got the bottom of this drawer cut out like I wanted. I left two cross sections for support and uh, where I'll add some uh, hot glue as well. And now I'm just gonna clean this up, knock off these burrs that were left over from the cutting. And uh, then I will cut out a piece of screen and we'll hot glue that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut out my screen that will be hot glued to the uh, base of this drawer. Um, and this again is the top drawer. For my template to cut out the screen, I'm just gonna use a piece of eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Fits in there perfectly. And that's the uh, sizes of the screen I think I'll want. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then we'll hot glue it in. Okay, so I got the screen cut out. It's roughly the size of a sheet of paper and it should fit nicely in the bottom of the drawer. If not, I've got plenty more screen to keep trying, but it's looking like it does fit just perfect down there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the hot glue to uh, glue this um, down so it doesn't curl up. Okay, so it's not pretty, but I got the uh, screen glued in there all the way around uh, with hot glue. Hot glue's kind of a mess with the screen because it comes through. You gotta be careful not to burn yourself. But I think I got it in there pretty secure and I put some reinforcement pieces just kind of around the edges and on the corners. And I think it'll stick in there just fine. And once we cover it up with the oats, uh, I think that it will uh, serve its purpose just fine. So that, that's the drawer system and uh, now uh, we will uh, put it together. Okay, so I got this all put back together. Again, it's a pretty simple build. The drawer with the bottom cut out with the screen is on top. The idea, again, that I understand is once I have adult breeders, um, they will go in a bed of oats on top of the screen with maybe a little bit of egg crate and uh, some uh, vegetables, and they will breed, and the eggs will fall through the screen to the next level. Um, where uh, they will hatch and I will supposedly get superworms. So we are going to find out if this works. Um, this uh, case at the top is what we'll start with here. I'm not gonna dump oats in this until later video when, we, when I have adults um, it, that warrants uh, um, setting that top drawer up. But for now I'm gonna dump the superworms out in here and uh, separate, actually I think I'm gonna dump them out in the bottom drawer. I'm gonna dump them out in the bottom drawer and uh, separate out 24 of the biggest to get them separated to see if we can get them pupate, to pupate in this container. And uh, um, hopefully uh, we'll have some adult beetles here in the next few weeks. All right. So it looks like I do have a few good sized ones in here. So I'll just 
start separating them out. I understand they can't have food and they're supposed to be kept in darkness and separate from each other and that uh, we should be getting some pupa. Okay, so I got these guys all separated out, um, and I'm gonna go place them in a dark place. They're all uh, separate from each other. They don't really have a food source in there. Um, and I understand if I go leave these guys in the dark that they should um, eventually, in a few weeks, form this kind of uh, rigid C shape and then uh, um, advance to their next stage, the pupa. And then hopefully we get some adult beetles from there. I'm really hoping that none of these guys crawl over and are able to squeeze over into the compartments with the others. I don't think they will, but I'll keep a close monitor on it and let you know. Anyways, so I'm not going to set these other drawers up just yet. Uh, we'll do that in another video, like I said. But I am probably going to add a little bit more oats to this bottom drawer where I have dumped my uh, feeder worms. And... Uh, um, We'll uh, just wait and see, and we'll do an update video. So these are just a great value brand uh, um, cut oats or whatever they call them. And I'm just going to add some of this to this, uh, this uh, oat or wheat substance that uh, they came in. I think it'll be just fine. If it's not, I will let you know. So I'm just going to blend this in, and I may or may not add carrot or something to this as well but that is pretty much it guys when I'm trying for this farm and I'm gonna go store these guys in a dark place hopefully uh, we get some adults here and uh, I will see if in a few months I can have uh, some of my own supply of uh, breeders doing some breeding so I don't have to go out and buy as many uh, feeders for my uh, animals um, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I have done something uh, terribly wrong um, and someone who has experience here uh, is able to tell me, please let me know. But uh, again, this is an experiment for me. I've seen this done a number of different ways and I'm just going to give this a try and see if it works and let you guys know. And uh, if you guys want an update on this, uh, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe and I will get back with you in a couple of weeks.